Mountain Blue Springs. Let's hear it. My name is Pete Grigsby. It has been a long two years, don't you think? My goodness. We, we met here two years ago and uh, had a great turnout. And then, of course, the pandemic hit. So it, it has been kind of a long day, long week. You know how the feeling is. And, but it's just so nice to be back, to see you in face-to-face, -face, and to bring out the great entertainment of our area and our school district. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy the free food, the great entertainment, and, of course, the Bears Christmas tree lighting and all that. Mr. Joe Haney's up here to my right. Wave at him, Joe. Joe's been... Joe's been doing this for years and years, and I've known Joe for years and years for this event. And of course, on my left is Mayor Carson Ross, and he is here tonight. So let's put our hands together. Welcome our first major event, and here we go. This is from Daniel Young Elementary, Dynamic Dolphins, directed by Hannah Wilders.
right, give it up for the Dynamic Dolphins from Daniel Young Elementary. Gentlemen, I want to introduce at this time a man I've known for many years. A man who's done, uh, he's got a long, long resume, so I don't have all time to do all that. And, but just know that he's your mayor, and uh, I'm proud to know him as a friend, and also proud to uh, accept him as our mayor of this great city. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mayor Carson Ross. Thank you, Pete. All right. Let's ask the question by show of hands. How many watched the Mayor's Three Lighting Ceremony last year? <laughs> okay. We did have a tree lighting ceremony last year. You didn't know about it, did you? Because otherwise, you would have raised your hand. It was virtual. How, how many of you people are tired of virtual? Yeah, we're coming out of that virtual thing right now, aren't we? But anyway, I'm, I'm just very pleased, like Pete said, to be able to come back and assemble here again and to have your interest in coming out to kick off the holiday season right here in Blue Springs, Missouri. You know, you see people down other places, they, ha they have trees. What do they do? Well, so they just sent in a 60-foot fir tree from Arizona. Then they got to install it. So we got a tree from somewhere else. Well, you've had me say three years, and, and, and I'm coming up on 14 years as mayor of this great city. We grow our own tree. We don't truck nothing in the Blue Springs. Now, I can tell you, previously, we had a tree that stood, Randy, what, about 40 feet tall? Or close to it, but when we renovated City Hall, and I think it was starting to be aged anyway, we had to take it out, so we're starting the new. Now, this might not be as tall as some of the rest of them, but this one has more spirit and more pop than anybody. Tree. Am I right about it? Yeah. All right. Because so that's how we do things in this room. Now, I can sit around here and preach a sermon to you, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to get on with the program. We have some special introductions we'd like to make. We have from District 1, over on the sound system, we had Jerry Kayla. Give it up for Jerry. <laughs> council member of District 1. On stage with me, we have the other council member from District 1, Galen Erickson. Give it up for Galen. In District 2, we have the guy that's the worker bee, as I call him, standing down here by Jerry with the sound system, Kent Edmondson. The other councilman from District 2, along with his family, is Chris Levesey. Then we have, from District 3, the lady on the council, Susan Culpepper. And I'm going to also introduce a lady special to me, Ola Trula. All right. Now we want to give some thanks to some people for what they have done to make this possible this evening. We have Price Chopper Hot Dogs and Cookie Donation. Let's thank Price Chopper because they might take their cookies and stuff back home if they're out on the floor. No, they wouldn't do that. We also have people that's going to be cooking those dogs. We have three pigs barbecue right here in the back. So if you're hungry, go get your dog. Blue Springs Theater, craft room on the second floor of City Hall. Councilman Jerry Kaler, as I said, the sound system band right back here. And the parks and recreation, decorating the tree in City Hall, and the VIP security and parking. So let's give it up to all the people that helped make this possible this evening. Now we have another group that's assembling, and I'm going to kick it right back to Pete Brixby, who is my dear friend. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, everyone. All right, get our next act ready. Hey, Turner. Turner's Wyman. Everybody look way over there. See this guy next to the fire truck? Wave at him, Turner. Turner's got a big TV camera over there from Channel 9. 
That's the one you want to wave at, especially with the tree lighting, right, Turner? All right. I'm assuming this is going to be re uh, shown at 9 and 10 o'clock tonight, so guys might want to watch that. Repeat, repeat that. What channel are we going to be watching tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock? Channel 9. Channel nine. Channel 9. All right. We watch the channel that comes out here and cover us. <laughs> That's right. For years. So if they don't cover us, we don't watch them. <laughs> All right, that's an order from the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a big festival here. We'd like to thank the Blue Springs School District for providing tonight's music and entertainment. We're from the three great choirs from three great elementaries. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, James Walker Elementary Honors Choir. Directed by Rachel Carson.
while we're getting our next group up here, uh, we're about ready for, uh, we'll get ready here pretty soon for uh, William Yates will be coming up here. I just want to remind you that uh, we want to thank, like the mayor said earlier, we want to thank Price Chopper for the hot dogs and cookie donations. And by the way, they are free. They are donations, so help yourself to that. Three Pigs Barbecue in the back there. Hey, yeah, they're waving out there. Oh, Three Pigs. All right. So uh, they're actually cooking the hot dogs for us. So uh, go back there and help yourself to some uh, three great hot, hot dogs. Thank you, Three Pigs, for being here tonight. Blue Spring City Theater, craft room on the second floor. So you might want to check out these uh, crafts and do some fun um, Christmas crafts and so, so forth. Jerry Kaler, who's our uh, council member, is, uh, is furnishing the sound system. Thank you very much. So, so, oh, you, <laughs> is that your way of saying hi? Oh, okay, I see. He's trying to cut his name off there. <laughs> Parks and Recreation, decorating the tree and also City Hall. The lights look wonderful in City Hall, as usual. VIPS uh, Security and Parking, thank you so much for that. We want to thank you for coming out tonight. I'm just so glad. Now, it's not as warm as it was yesterday, but still, no complaints on today's weather. I mean, it's just been... Uh, <laughs> Joe, we've had some really cold... Year, I mean, uh, events at this, and uh, not complaining at all about tonight's weather at all. So it's, 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 it's perfect for the season. All right, they're getting ready to take the stage here. And after this, Mayor's going to come back up here and get us ready for the lighting of the Mayor's Christmas tree. So we're really close. Also, uh, we do have Santa going to be coming up after that, too. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, directed by Mark Hamblin, welcome to the stage, William Yates' 4th and 5th grade choir.
fourth and fifth grade choir. We are getting very close to that moment, Mayor. There's still a lot more to do, so don't leave just yet. We haven't lit the tree yet. We're going to light the tree, and then there's going to be a jolly old fella that's going to make his entrance down here. But as we get ready to light the tree, tonight's person works for the city. Come on up here, Randy. Was it 40 something years you worked for the city? How many was it? This gentleman worked for the city of Blue Springs for 40 years. Give it up for him, Randy Cooper. Not only that, in the past, he's been the person responsible for setting all this up. So now it's nice for him to see somebody else set it up and he come up here and light the tree. So we, we have really enjoyed Randy. He was a great employee, did a lot for this city. As a matter of fact, our time goes back. By the time that I was on the city council, you were starting to work for the city of Blue Springs. And now here we are again, but you are retired and enjoying life, and I'm still working. What's up with that? Planning. Planning, all right. And so somebody's going to tell me when we get close to I need to start it. Joe, you're my timekeeper. Joe Haney, who has been a yeoman in working for uh, this event every year. You give me the signal. Okay. Randy, would you like to say something? Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Randy Cooper. Now, what we're going to do this year, we're going to have a countdown before he flips the switch. Can any of you guess what number I'm going to start on? Nine. You're right. This is our kind of crowd. Yeah. So a lot of you probably catch Pete on Channel 9 doing the weather. Have you seen him on that Channel 9 doing the weather? Well, not only did he was he full time doing that, but now he is one of the teachers of media, communications, TV, radio at Blue Springs South High School, but he still goes in and fills in at Channel 9. So we appreciate Pete and what he does for this community. And Mayor, I've, uh, I've been in the city for 22 years. Don't want to live anywhere else. Just know that. All right. What about the rest of you? Would you want to live in a place other than Blue Springs? No. No, you don't want to live in a place else because Blue Springs is also going to have the best Whataburger coming in other than these other ones you've been seeing on TV. You know what? They're probably going to have cars lined up all the way to Columbia, Missouri to get in here. Okay, police, you listen to that because you're going to have to do some traffic control. All right. Are we ready? Okay, I got two minutes. I see I got to talk before we start the countdown. And, and since Randy won't say anything, say Merry Christmas here. Let me say family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Yeah, I, I like the way she sounds. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay. One minute, one minute, and we're going to start the countdown. And then immediately, immediately after the tree is lit, you're probably going to hear a sirens. And then you're going to have a jolly old guy making it in his, and I'm not going to call it a sleigh, I'm going to call it a Santa Mobile. It will be coming soon, and as soon as they give me a signal, Randy, you know what to do. You've set this stuff up for years. All right, let's get ready to count. Start off. Nine, eight, seven, six, Okay, let's start calling 
and maybe a show up. Santa, 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 where are you, Santa? Yeah.